I was doing these Spartan races and, and I went up to the uh, to the Ultra Beast level and, and I just couldn't complete that race. And after two races, I basically um, decided to get a, a, a obstacle course racing uh, coach essentially from Texas. And then he helped me with the training and I, I needed something to help me go beyond with my mind. And um, the, the race that I had done before, I was hitting a wall at 12 hours that I just couldn't move anymore. I couldn't eat anything. Um, to continue racing. So you'll have a full day of obstacles. I mean, the race will take anywhere from 11 to 14 hours. And I just couldn't finish that race. And that's the biggest of the uh, the Spartan races that, that you have, and they're held at different locations. So this one in Vermont, just couldn't finish it. Finally came to see Jason, and then Jason helped me get beyond, essentially, and helped me achieve that brain power that I needed to push forward because I, I, I was hitting that wall. And that wall when you're racing is that you can't eat anymore. You just can't continue pushing through it, essentially. So I needed that reset. And funny enough, that year completed that race. So it was, it was an amazing achievement, but I couldn't have done it without uh, that push and that help, essentially, to, to get me beyond that mental capacity that I needed. Amazing, I mean, it's, it's a, you, you come out of there and you're refreshed, like it's a reset, essentially. So you're basically resetting your mind to um, getting any, any type of suggestion uh, to, to help you achieve what you want to achieve. I was able to basically shut down the pain and just camouflage that, it, it, not think about it, it's non-existent essentially, just move forward and push through it. So when you go in, I mean, you have to be, you have to be prepared and willing. It, it, nobody can be hypnotized, I guess, if they do not want to be hypnotized and you're always in a conscious mind, but even with the last session, for an example, I mean, I, w I, was, I was there, uh, I, I could have moved if I wanted, but I, I did not want to essentially because that's exactly what I wanted was to basically have that open mind and, and, and have the, the information brought in that I needed essentially to, to, to help me challenge these issues that I was, that, that I was facing. So the Marathon de Sable I did, I, I believe it's three years ago now, and that one I, I, um, I wanted to race. It's, it's the world's toughest foot race, uh, apparently, and it's basically, uh, that year was 237 kilometers through the Sahara Desert, self-supported. Everything on your back is what you're going to need for the week. So your food and, and your, your everything that you'll need. So I needed to make sure that I was going in prepared and it's an expensive race. I, I mean, you don't want to go there and fail it. And, and if you do fail the race, um, you're stuck at 40 for up to 48 hours at the camp before they bring you to the next city. And then you're, you're responsible to wait until the race is over. So, I mean, you're, you're, you just don't want to fill that race. It would suck to have to stay there essentially for, for the rest of the time. Essentially, it's a big expense to be away from your family for, for 10 days or 14 days. So I wasn't not going to go see Jason on this one. So I wanted to make sure that I was fully ready. And by day two, day three, my feet were a mess. And I was just basically pushing and reminding myself of what Jason had taught me essentially um, when, I, when I was hitting hard times, essentially to push through it. So there was probably about 30% of my skin on my feet that were gone at one point. And every time that I was taking a step, it was like a needle was going through my my foot, but you just keep pushing, and it's it, it's 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 your your mental capacity, but you're you're not necessarily born with that. You have to basically achieve it, and you come out of that hypnosis stage, and you feel like so refreshed, and and it's like you slept essentially in like like a good twelve hours uninterrupted with no kids. I mean, when you when you look at that, you just you you're kind of revived. It gives you a new energy and a new a, a new. Um, a new reset, I guess, to life. I like to use the word reset because you're just basically coming back to your, your natural and then, and, and then getting the new suggestions and, and using that to, go, to move forward. And one, one thing is that like on the last session and, and one thing that I, I went through when I, was, when I was younger, I was 14 and I came on the scene of an accident and, and this guy was killed. He was hit by a car and it was, I was the first on scene. Um, and the last session is, is something that I, I never um, I never resolved or, or looked at or even, you know, challenged at that time. I mean, you know, years ago, and that would have been years ago, there's some things that you didn't challenge, you just basically lived with it. But you have to be able to accept it and, and, and accept it and kind of move on. But it stayed for me for a very long time. And I would see that image of that person that was hit by a car and first on scene at that young age. I mean, it follows you forever, but it just helps you cope essentially with that mechanism saying, you can accept it and kind of move on. So you still see it, but it's, it's, it's detaching yourself from it. So you're not basically reacting to certain events because of something like that, that would have happened. And that's, yeah, I've never really talked about that that much, I guess, but that's, yeah, last session was just, and it's a constant kind of reminder. And, and geez, it was somebody from, from back home and he lived close to home. And then it's one of 
his friends had hit him with a car and everything was dark and first on scene at 14 I mean you, you, you see that all the time essentially because you you run for the ambulance and it's just it's 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 a, it's a PTSD event like I mean it's something that you don't think about when you're at a younger age you just kind of accept it but at the same time it's an unresolved item that you that you carry throughout your life the last session felt so refreshed and 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 just my my mission was just to kind of declutter my life and, and that's what i've been doing is to start selling the stuff that i just didn't need that was just too much extra too much too much brain clutter essentially and, and my my better half was she was so happy when i when i came home and, and i decided to make that that move just to free up my mind um just to just to, to to look at different goals and not necessarily have that much stuff just just yeah have more space for for my brain i guess to anybody yeah whether it's they're dealing with with past issues essentially or they, they want the capacity to, to move forward so we've done sessions before with fear of heights and and this helped me move forward because there's some of these obstacle obstacle course races that that are pretty high up in the air essentially when you're you're doing certain things so now i can achieve those and it's not an issue so i still know um what danger is obviously i, I i'm not going to put myself in any danger but i can basically respect that it's a fear that it was coming from my mind and not necessarily something that was necessarily should have been there I recommend it for anybody that wants to move forward on, 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 uh, on um, mental health issues that they want to move forward on, or stuff that they want to just basically be able to push forward and have themselves a constant reminder of what they can achieve essentially, and not be limited by what their mind says. And we have, we all have certain limits that we don't even know that we have limits about. So I mean, we when you can break down those walls and move forward, I mean, you can achieve a lot more um, having the right mindset. And and for anybody who wants to aim for the top, I mean. You have to put your best in everything, not necessarily your physical, but your mental and, and your emotional state. And it always felt comfortable and and uh, and Jason is trustworthy. I mean, you, you feel, you, you know that you're in a safe space, essentially. That's how I can best describe it, you're, you're in a safe space. I mean, um, you're basically, he, he's a professional, that's what he does.